Louis, thanks a million for joining us. Hello. Now, big news. You've got exciting stuff happening boy band-wise in Dublin. I'm doing a new boy band. Yeah, it's my third boy band. I have an audition next week, starting on the 19th in the Button Factory in Temple Bar from 12 o'clock. So we're doing the 19th, the 20th, the 21st, maybe even the 22nd. It's open to everybody from every nationality, as long as they can sing and as long as they're prepared to work hard and are enthusiastic. I'm not looking for lazy people, people who want to be instant pop stars. That doesn't happen. I'm looking for an amazing vocal band. The work ethic is very important. They have to want it and they have to work it. Because if they don't want it, it's not going to work. And its attitude almost is as important as time, you know? I mean, some of the best, the biggest pop stars in the world, they're not the best singers, you know, but they're great entertainers. There's no rules. I don't believe in any rules at all. I just think I have to find five amazing young boys that can sing and dance and entertain and work as a team. I'm looking for everything, you know, but I can't wait to start. I can't go any further without saying this. You look great and your hair is gorgeous. What's going on? I look great. I'm not, I'm not long on a bed. Uh, my hair, I went to HRBR in Black Rock and I got my hair taken from there to there. They move my hair around, let's put it like that, and it's worked, you know, and Morris Collins did a great job on that. I recommend it. James Nelford went as well, and lots of other people, but they're the only two I'm going to tell you about, me and James. When you look at Eurovision, do you enjoy it? Do you watch it? Yes, I watch it every year. I've been at it like 10 times. I work with Johnny Logan and Linda Martin and Jedward and Jump the Gun, and it's always a big extravaganza. I wish I was going to Mama for one day. I think the Irish guy, Ryan, I think Ryan's going to do okay. I think he's a great singer. I think he's got a good song. I don't think we're going to win, but I think he'll do okay. I think Jedward doing lipstick was fantastic. How are they and what are they doing? They're working all the time and they're the most positive kids you're ever going to meet. You know, they're doing some Irish dates for summer, they're doing English dates, they're in the panto for Christmas. You know, they never stop working. Ten years on X Factor, there is big talk that you are going to be back. I'm back. Yay! Oh, I'm back. I'm Tell definitely us. back. Me and Gary are definitely back. We're the bookends. And I'm sure Sharon Osbourne's back, and I helped to get her back because she's great fun. And I hope it's going to be, it's going to be Talisa or Nicole. It might be Mel B. I don't know, but I think it probably will be Nicole. Why do you not sit at the head of the table? Why is Gary sitting up there, top left? Hey, there's no head at the table. I like him. I'm more competitive, and he's a great songwriter. And I actually get on with him very, very well. I'm a big admirer of Gary's. Simon is the best person I know. Simon gave me a whole career. He gave me a whole life. He put me on TV and we managed Westlife. He is the best person I've ever met. And he's the funniest person I've ever met. And we always have fun. We can't stop laughing when we're together. You and China have a special mm -hmm. relationship Sharon going and way back. Always get all well. So for your 10th year, it will be very special. She's, she's alone to herself and she's whatever she says. And she's a bit of a loose cannon, but I like that. Pre auditions are already done. We never know. We never know who's going to walk out. We never know the votes and we never know our categories until they tell us on the TV channel. No matter whose group they end up or who ends up being the mentor to the Irish guests, we all look to you whenever <laughs> there's an Irish. I'm pro-Irish, I'm always, because I think there's so much talent here and I think Irish people work harder and I think they're always more grateful. That's the good thing about Irish band. Look at Westlife, they're the best people ever I've worked with. When you look at Shane and you're looking after him again now. Shane's got a great new record contract. He signed with Capital Records. The album's made. He's co-written most of the songs. It's going to surprise everybody. He is the most positive person in the world, Shane Father. It's unbelievable. Well, he's got his health, he's got his voice, he's got his wife and kids, and he's got a whole new career. Yeah, he lost money, he can make it back. These shows that were on at uh, different stations, like The Big Reunion, where the people are coming back together, were there any bands that you'd love to see come back together? Or is there half of them are yours? that you come back together. The only band I'd love to see back together are Abba. Agneta and Frida and Bjorn and Benny, they were special. Yeah. Louis, thank you so much okay, for talking to me. You. I don't want you to go. I just want to keep asking your advice and I'm stuff. Going. <laughs> <laughs> we got anything else.